In this video, we're going to use a file we used in a previous video and look at whether we can blur certain parts of it using DaVinci Resolve. So here's the file that we used in another video about walkabouts in London. What we do is we select the area we want to blur, and that pops up the screen. We want to select that circle and then one of these options, which is a square, an oval, or a polygon. As soon as we click it, it pops open a square. We drag that over to what we want to blur. And once we positioned it and adjusted the size, as we think we need to adjust the size, what we then do is we come back down and select the circle. Let's adjust the size first. There we are. Now let's move over to the right one, click that, and that's a tracking feature. In case the picture moves, it can follow it. Uh, we don't need it in this case, but we're just showing you that. Now select the blur function and take the radius and push that up to the max, and you can see the text becoming blurred up here. So let's go the whole way. And then on the HP ratio, let's lower that a little bit, and that makes it to the point where it's blurry enough that you're comfortable with. And once we've done that, we can drag that cursor to see how the blurring looks. We can see that as we come across, the bottom is not blurred. There's an exposure period there where the text is not blurred. If it's really confidential and you want to protect it, you might want to amend that box size. So to do that, we go back to that selection criteria and drag that box to cover the area we think might be exposed. And then we run that video again and we can see now as it comes up the entire area is blurred so let's play it and take a look at it here it comes the whole area is blurred and then we've narrowed down the blurring to just the text the next section of the video and select it and come back down to color and then choose the selector in this case we'll use the oval we'll drag the oval across here then select the blurring radius and the HV ratio. And then we'll drag this across to see whether the area we want to mask is properly masked. We can see as we come across in the preceding page, there is a map that's not blurred and we're blurring it in this section here. This helps you see that we can cut the video and blur specific sections of it as we see fit. So let's go ahead and run it. The image comes across fully blurred. There's a cut here, and now only a section of it is blurred. We're looking at a map. And then as this section rolls off into the next section, we can see we've circle blurred the map below. Although this is practically the same map we looked at before, it's illustrative as to how we can blur the area. I hope that was helpful. So the steps are to select color, the range, and then basically blur it, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching.